heterotrophic mode, of nutrition, in plants. You have learned that, green plants, have chlorophyll. But, there are some plants, which do not have, chlorophyll, so, they cannot synthesize their food. Now you will wonder, how such plants, survive. As you have studied earlier, heterotrophs, namely humans, and animals, depend on plants, for their food. Similarly, plants, without chlorophyll, depend on the food, produced by other plants. This is called the heterotrophic mode, of nutrition, in plants. For example, cuscata plant, also called, Amar bale. Since this plant, does not have, chlorophyll, it climbs, on another plant, and takes the ready-made food, from it. The plant on which, it climbs, is called, the host. The organism, whose essential nutrients, are deprived, by another organism, such as, a parasite, is called, the host. Since this plant, deprives the host, of its valuable nutrients, it is called, a parasite. The organism, which obtains nutrients, from another organism, by depriving it, of its essential nutrients, is called, a parasite. It is interesting to note that, although humans, and animals, depend on plants, for their food, they are not parasites. This is because, they do not deprive, the plants, of the essential nutrients, just as the parasites do. However, mosquitoes, bedbugs, lice, and leeches, are parasites, because, they suck human blood, and depend on them, for their food. Some green plants, like, Drosera, Venus flytrap, etc., are unable to obtain, all the nutrients, required to prepare their food, from the soil, or their surroundings. In such cases, these plants, develop features, which help them survive. They can trap, insects, and digest them. Plants, which trap, and feed on insects, are called, insectivorous plants. These may be green, or, of some other color. For example, pitcher plant. Let us study, the parts, of this plant. The leaf of this plant, is modified, in the shape, of a pitcher. The apex, of the leaf, forms the lid. The function of the lid, is to open, and close, the mouth of the pitcher. Inside the pitcher, there are hair, which are directed downwards. Now let us see, how this plant, traps insects. When an insect, lands in the pitcher, its lid, closes. Thus, the insect, gets trapped, and entangled, into the hair. The pitcher plant, digests, the trapped insect, by secreting, the digestive juices. Thus, insectivorous plants, are partial heterotrophs. These plants, also called, insect-eating plants, grow in soil, containing less nutrients. So, they feed on, animals, like insects, to fulfill their requirement, of nutrients.